Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Tarmac Obsessions. I'm here with my mate Brad, who I've known since I was about oh, 18, 17, 17, 18, 18 yeah. so like good 25 years of friendship. Yeah. Um, we've sung a whole bunch of Spanners together over the years and Brad's been a little out of touch on the old mechanical side of things and he wanted to come and give us a hand with the Z, which I'm very, very happy for because today we're going to attempt to get the back end in the diff and the drive shafts and the coilies and all that back end and stuff. So, it's probably a good uh, three or four hours work and we're trying to probably work the puzzle out of what we're actually going to get together. Uh, if you guys want to hit Brad up on his Instagram, he's an amazing artist. I'll put it across the bottom of the screen there. He's done some awesome uh, car stuff. So if you guys want some commissioning of your custom cars, he can do it for you. So you can send him some pictures and he'll do a range of pricing and bits and pieces. So let me show you where we're up to at the moment and uh, stay tuned for the episode. Alrighty, so this is the puzzle that is the back end of a Datsun Z. So we've sort of had a little bit of a start. We're trying to work out where these bits go. We're fitting up the Techno Toy Tuning Moustache Bar because we have gone from an R200 to an R180 uh, from a 15 plate WRX, I think it is. Um, so it's a helical LSD uh, 3.9 ratio. So it's a bit uh, taller geared than the original diff, but we're just gonna work out where all these bits and pieces go and how they fit into the back end. And then we're going to get started and work out how to get the puzzle and which sort of process we have, which you know, part to part to part, because we don't want to start bit, take it out, next bit, take it out. We want to make sure we get it in the right sequence. So uh, we'll do a bit of work on that, and then we'll come back to you when we just get under the car and start throwing the bits up. All right, so the first piece of the Techno Toy tuning puzzle we've got together is this bit. Now, you have to do these in sequence. So you can't put the gold uh, liner in first. You've got to put these in here first because it creates a perfect vacuum and you can never get them together. They go in like that. Just need a rubber hammer, that helps. Never on your body, never on your body lines. Don't use a rubber mallet to fit those drip molds. <laughs> so yeah, that's them done. We get them on that and then we'll work out the rest of it. So at the moment, we're just working that out because we had this around that, that way and it was pushing the diff too far forward and we couldn't get the mount to line up. So Brad volunteered to hold the diff up while I quickly undid the bolts, which is awesome of him to do because that was a shit of a job. Um, so it also means that my wonderful fuel pump mount's wrong, so I gotta fix that as well. So yeah, it was getting the uh, prothane bushes done now. So this is a kit that I got from Motorsport Autos. Brad's just having a little struggle with the uh, a little one on that side. Don't film it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a wrench for a while, I reckon. This is the first time we wrenched together in 20 years, so yeah, that was pretty years. cool. Yeah, that's just popped that out the other yeah. side. Bugger. But yeah, we've got the diff in, so that's in now. So like I said, that goes back that way and everything's all in. I'm missing a bolt at the front, but I'll be able to find one of them and get that back together. I want to get these arms in and then... Um, yeah, maybe, maybe chuck the suspension in. Maybe, but we've got to get the bearings pressed into the bottom of the struts. So we're not going to do that today, I don't think. 10 minutes in, oh, okay. All right, so one little problem we did come across was my fabulous fuel pump bracket uh, fouled on the moustache bar from T3. So I've just modified that, if you can see that there. I've just modified that, push it up a little higher. So it still fits lovely up the top there, nice and out of the way. I'll have to uh, shorten this little bit of hose up, just bring that back in a little bit tighter so it should, uh, doesn't hang down too low. But we've got all that in. I've left uh, this loose, I haven't done these nuts up, purely for the fact that I've missed a bolt at the front, which I've misplaced, so I've just got to get a new bolt. Um, this driver's side one just there. Um, I don't know where it is, but I have missed that, so I'm going to have to get a bolt for that and then drop that in, so just drop, drop this back down again, drop the bolt in and then tighten it all back up. But we got the arms on and the bushes all on and these are all in ready to go. Um, next, next job I'll do at the office will be getting the bearings into the rear hub carriers on the rear coilovers. So we've worked out from the book and from Brad finding a fantastic YouTube video. Uh, the sequence of how these have to go together. So I'll take them to the office during the week, press them in, and hopefully get them fitted on Monday night. Yeah, hopefully she better get that all back together Monday night. 
So very happy with the work we've done today. But yeah, just for the future reference, because I don't give you instructions, that goes at the back. All right, so uh, thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I know it was a little bit shorter than usual, but because we sort of got stuck on a couple of uh, things, that bolt missing was a bit of an issue, and getting those bearings pressed into the hubs is obviously a bit of an issue. But I'll get that done during the week and throw that all back together. Big fella, thanks for coming up. Super appreciate it. No worries, man. Really appreciate Any your time. time and effort, man, brother. Um, but yeah, so he's definitely earned himself a drive when she's finished. Oh. <laughs> two of us in a Z is going to look a bit funny. He's 6'6". Six, six, yeah, like, uh, anyway, we'll be right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you Monday night.